Hi, and welcome back. And this is Review Geek 3000. And we present to you the Contenders Corner podcast. So just guys, this is Smackdown, and this is Review Episode 35. And yes, again guys, if you're new to this channel, then join us for the Wrestle Talk in the commentary box. <laughs> And you can follow us on Twitter, they are geek at the Geek Collection. Just follow us on No, you can follow us on Instagram at our at the Geek Collection. You can follow us on Twitter at our Geek Three Thousand and you can follow us on YouTube over on Review Geek Three Thousand. And we also have a Facebook page as well and we are Review Geek Three Thousand on there. So again guys, on that Facebook page we'll be listing all our videos on this channel so everything that we produce on this channel we will promote it on that Facebook page and again we'll enjoy talking alongside you and hearing your feedback guys and again let's spread the word and get your voice heard and again on this channel subscribe smash that like, like button guys and share and again guys our schedule for this channel is the con Tenders Corner Podcast, Film Parade, where we do film reviews. We also do the Gaming Lounge, where we do walkthroughs and just chilled out stream videos. And again, our monthly unboxing videos. And again, when we get a lot more bigger guys, we will be doing monthly giveaways. And... Again, guys, you can check out our playlists as it stands. We did a monthly mystery unboxing a couple of days ago, and that was the Zavi's Z box for January. And it was probably one of the worst boxes that we opened on this YouTube channel. And we have seen being opened in on YouTube. Again, we do the gaming lounge, and we did a Resident Evil 3 Nemesis review a couple of days ago and we dropped one this morning so again you can check up on that we also did a WWE 2k battleground so that was more of a chilled out video there guys on it was more out, it was more chilled out stream doing that and it was a fun stream to do again we did the episode 34 and that was the contenders corner Monday night raw review and a Royal Rumble predictions and this is what it's all about guys and this is wrestling and this is the contenders corner podcast and i am jason and i present to you a podcast where i am in the commentary box guys and i am going to review smackdown and again guys just drop a like share if you're new to this channel then comment if you are as well guys a massive massive shout out to all the subscribers of this channel and again a shout out to all the new subscribers that are going to subscribe to this channel in the future and again we <laughs> enjoy your support your moral support guys we appreciate it and on this channel guys we love you indeed and again if it wasn't for you fans then we wouldn't be doing this guys and again we are doing this for the entertainment side guys to entertain your boredom throughout this pandemic throughout these lockdowns guys and there is a lot of people that are going through um, mental health and depression and uh, I want to bring this to the table here guys and uh, if you are going through some setbacks 
and you're having some troubled times, visit our channel. We motivate daily on this channel, and again, we inspire everybody on this channel. And uh, there's no room for hate on this channel. Again, if you're new to this channel, geek away because again there's a lot of content in the future guys we got the smackdown well this is what we're doing guys smackdown review we're only one day away before the notorious royal rumble guys and again let's get the conversation flowing here let's talk everything that is the rumble and again after this review video guys we're gonna drop our predictions like we did on the raw video we are going to discuss our predictions for the rumble tonight and again if you have got some predictions of your own guys then share them with me share them with review geek 3000 we would love to hear your predictions for the royal rumble and again let's get this review on the way so again guys with one day away to go we have the Royal Rumble on the cards and you know what that means that means it's Friday nights Smackdown and we're gonna review this as promised because my friend was getting worried that we weren't gonna drop a Smackdown review before the Royal Rumble commenced tonight. But again, we are dropping it here. And let's build the excitement, guys. Let's let's build on. Let's build this conversation. Share with me your predictions. As I've said earlier on, share me, share with me your predictions on who you think is going to be the men's Royal Rumble winner. The women's Royal Rumble winner. Who are your predictions for the surprise entries for the rumble both women and the men's and again guys we have a lot to talk about we have the likes of Bianca Belair to talk about the tribal chief Roman Reigns and Kevin Owens and again a surprise return also is on the cards to talk about tonight but again, this is one step further to the road to WrestleMania. But at first, it was AJ who interrupts Daniel Bryan's impassioned promise to win the men's rumble. And on this, guys, we're going to give this a contender's match rating here. <sighs> A three out of five. This match could have been a lot better. Brian is one of the best in the world, but his promos each week are going tiring. He continues to play hype man for the Royal Rumble, spending too much time explaining how the match works. It would be best for him to get past WWE Royal Rumble. Instead of talking, <sighs> give it some action, man. And the Styles versus Brian is a guaranteed fantastic clash of top talent. Both men have been considered the best wrestlers in the world. And each time they step into the ring, they steal the show. And again, we go into Bianca Belair versus Bailey. And this was going to be one of the matches for this week, guys. As last week, it was Bianca Belair who got attacked after Bailey was beaten in the obstacle course on the night and again who beast who bested the chances there Belair defeats Bailey by pinfall and I'm going to give this a 3 out of 5 and Bailey has been the perfect challenger to introduce Belair to the Smackdown audience each segment shows more and more why the EST is not just the future of WWE but good enough to challenge the absolute best already 
this match was no different while Belair can just rely on her athletic prowess to shine. She has a complete game in the ring, switching her style to tell a complete story. She just needs time. She and Bailey got it in a really good opening contest. This was completely different from the first fight. The main mistake WWE made here. The main mistake WWE made uh, was the post-match interview. Blair can cut a promo, but she was exhausted after a long fight. We're going to go into King Corbin versus Dominic Mysterio. And again, another rematch here. And it was Corbin who defeats Dominic again by Finn Pinfall. And I'm going to give this a 3 out of 5. And it was Corbin versus the Mysterios. Has hardly been an interesting rivalry after Ray and Dominic disappeared from television. The story halted and their return has made Dominic look like a rookie again rather than the young prodigy he seemed to be against Seth Rollins. Rollins. Dominic has decent chemistry with the King but each loss has cut off with the little momentum Dominic already had. He is back to playing second fiddle to his father. The clear focus is to build up on more match between Corbin and Ray. Ideally this rivalry ends within the next month. However, with the notes of the Lone Wolf off TV lately, as well as Murphy, WWE will likely compl complicate things again soon with those stars returning. Then we have Roman Reigns gets under Kevin Owens' skin in their final showdown. I'll give this, and this is a, an A plus segment here, and again, WWE have hyped up. I'm going to give this a Contenders Corner promo rating here a 4 out of 5. Well, 4.2 out of 5. WWE hyped up KO and Reigns interview as the biggest moment of the night. And it absolutely was. Reigns found a way under Owen's skin and exploited it. However, at the same time, KO clearly frustrated his rival by never losing his confidence. The head of the table promotes himself as a family man while K.O. prides himself as the ultimate family man. This interview clearly defined the dynamic between these two that made this story so special. Without being able to defeat Reigns, K.O. has just made the Un WWE Universal Champion better. This match could be the best on the whole card. Even if it's not, these two men will tell a special story together as they have all along the way to get to WWE Royal Rumble. And again, I'm going to enjoy watching this match. And then we had Daniel Bryan versus AJ Styles. As it was in the promo. And it was Daniel Bryan who defeats Styles by disqualification. And again, I'm going to give this a 3.5 out of 5. While the cheap ending was expected and stopped this match from becoming a truly special match, Bryan versus Styles was fantastic once again. The two had a great technical showcase in the midst of a chaos at ringside reminding everyone that they still both have plenty more great matches in store together the two got too much time to wrestle this, the rest of the hour so something was always going to happen with Rumble Sunday this was the time to build up a variety of challenges Brian and Stalls may be more likely to win than most in the match but WWE needs to build a variety of options then we have Daniel Bryan, Big E, Shinsei Nakamura versus AJ Styles, Sami Zayn and Cesaro. And I'm going to give this Contenders Corner match rating a 3 out of 5. It was Big E, Bryan and Nakamura who defeats Cesaro, Styles and Sami Zayn by disqualification. Sheamus, Big E, Bryan, Nakamura and Otis defeat Cesaro. Styles, Zayn, Miss, and Morrison by pinfall. So again, this is going to get even worse. The positive in the original six-man match was seeing more great action. Cesaro and Nakamura gave an early preview of the great match they can have together soon. Brian and Zayn got back to basics with a fun sequence. Big E got to look like a monster with his hot tag. It was just an awkward transition to an unnecessary bigger match because Miz and Morrison had to get involved. All the wrestling here 
was memorial and everyone got a small chance to stand out it just was it just was far too much chaos to enjoy Strowman ended the night as as the big late addition to the men's Royal Rumble match but everyone knew he would be in the contest without official word while the monster among men should be seen as a favourite this moment may have built him up too strong to actually pull it out and again a very good show and I'm going to give that a 4 I'm going to give that a 4 contenders match rate in there guys for that for that match a 4 out of 5 and again we saw the return of Strowman and again he will be in the Rumble so again guys my predictions as it stands we've had a new match come to the card and that is Sasha Banks versus Camilla and again guys as I'm going to add on to this my Royal Rumble winner for the men's is as it stands as I said on the previous video it will be Edge who wins on the night again in some fashion we might see the Fiend take out Orton and cost him the Rumble and it will be Edge who probably wins this match due to the Fiend um, we could probably see but again guys the women's I said it will be Alexa Bliss and that is as it stands guys Alexa Bliss will be the one to win um, again Charlotte Flair and Oscar will be the ones to win the tag titles Sasha Banks versus Camilla I'm going to have Camilla win this match Hold on, guys. And then for the WWE Championship match. Drew McIntyre versus Goldberg. I said it will be Goldberg who wins this match. The Universal Championship last man standing match. Roman Reigns versus Kevin Owens. It will be Roman Reigns who wins on the night. And takes the title to WrestleMania. And it will be there. At WrestleMania. In some form. Roman Reigns will lose the championship at WrestleMania. WWE Women's Tag Team Championship match Oscar and Charlotte Flair versus Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax Oscar and Charlotte Flair will be the ones to retain here in WWE Smackdown Championship Women's Championship Sasha Banks versus Camilla and it will be Camilla who wins the Women's Championship here and again this Royal Rumble match card is subject to change and again but again guys we will be dropping a video tomorrow and this will be the Royal Rumble review and again guys it's unfortunate that the Royal Rumble is, is being viewed during the pandemic during the lockdowns and we're going to see the Royal Rumble get hurt for the first time as last year the Royal Rumble was one of the biggest events and that was probably the reason why it was the last event that aired with fans in the ring and it came down as one of the best events best pay-per-views of the year of 2020 and again the, we had the shock the shocking return of Edge and that that arena lit up it blew up soon as Edge moves it come on guys the arena lit up and we're going to see that again 
Edge is going to return. We've got The Fiend subject to return. We've got Strowman who returned on the end of SmackDown and he has cemented his place in the Royal Rumble. And again, guys, for the first time, the Royal Rumble this year is going to be hurt by the COVID-19 because, again, the lack of fans in the arena. It's going to be aired in the Thunderdome. And this might hurt the pay-per-view, <laughs> especially because, guys, I'm not liking the Thunderdome. And that is due to the fact that it should be enjoyed by fans in the arena. But again, we'll see how this goes. We could have a good pay-per-view. But again, with the fans not being there, that could just hurt the pay-per-view overall. But it could be a genuine good pay-per-view. But because of the fans and no presence and... The Thunderdome could just cost them views, views, ratings, and that is because simply the atmosphere is not there in the arena. But again, that was the SmackDown review on the Contenders Corner podcast. And again, we have done, we have talked in the commentary box everything that is wrestling. So just guys, join us next for the episode. For the episode of Royal Rumble. And that is tomorrow guys. And you'll catch us on the air. To do a Royal Rumble review. And again this is Review Geek 3000. Calling.